I think a marathon is a really big commitment. I mean, 26.2 miles is, it's a lot. You have to kind of take stock of where you are. Are you someone that's really been active over the past six months doing high impact activities? But those people generally will have less issues starting a training program. If you've never run a marathon before and you just make the decision, okay, I want to run a marathon. It's not impossible, but that's a big commitment. And that's what I try to get out of my patients of where are you at on the physical fitness spectrum? What have you been doing? Is this a reasonable goal for you? How much time do we have to prepare for this goal? And if they kind of meet all the criteria, let's focus on how we're gonna build up your body to increase your endurance so that we're not taxing your musculoskeletal system and causing injuries. So it's, it's really about taking stock of where you're at, being realistic with your goals, and then trying to determine how much time are we going to need to meet those goals and what programs we're going to implement to do that. As far as common running injuries, uh, you know, generally going to be lower body injuries and, and that could be from the hip on down to the ankles. Tendinitis is very common, especially in people who haven't been so active and are getting on running programs, trying to train for you know, 5K, 10K up to a marathon. And that's more of an overuse injury. Those are pretty easily treatable. Unfortunately, we do have to rest for a little bit and then getting on a physical therapy program, focusing on stretching, anti-inflammatories, and then building them back up to their where they were at previously in their program. But once again, we don't wanna be jumping up in mileage. We don't wanna be jumping up in speed uh, too quickly to avoid a flare up of these, these issues. As a, as a sports medicine fellowship trained orthopedic surgeon, I, I tell people, I love when people take care of their bodies, participate in sports and, and keep active because it does help the body um, maintain its youthful vigor in, in a manner of speaking. The more we use our muscles, the stronger we are, it does help um, with that aging process. And, and like I said, the 20 year old kid's not worried about it, but when you get to my age, 40s, 50s and 60s, it does help the more active people are. I see it every day in my clinic, you know, the healthier active people just tend to do better. If we're sedentary, if we're not taking care of our bodies, our muscles get weak and you're just predisposed to injury. It just makes it harder to come back from those injuries. So, so I'm really happy when people are taking interest in their body and their health and well-being and, and, and using events like Missouri Cowbell to either get back in shape or stay in shape.